Here's a slight update. Um, so I I tightened up the bearing, the wheel bearing. Um, I took about three-ish thousandths off of the one of the inside races, so the preload was a little more. And it it took me two tries. I did like a thousandths and a half, and it was still loose. And then I did another thousandths and a half, and it was then. It has drag now when you turn it, which I think is pretty good. Um, initially, if I put an indicator here, if this was sitting vertically and I put an indicator here, I could rock that back and forth um, about, I could make this corner go up and down about 5,000. So now it, I mean, I can deflect it, but it isn't like loose, like clunkety clunk loose. So it feels good. I cleaned it out really good. It did have some swarf and stuff in it from probably me, but uh so, I mounted a laser here just to kind of see. I, I popped it together. I only have it um, spaced out with this one um, spacer. I still have to make a top one yet. But it's, I mean, this is an inch. It's pretty, it's, it keeps it pretty parallel. But uh, this is kind of the cool part. So, see the laser there? If I turn this... Uh, I gotta loosen something up here. Don't I? Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, my basement is not messy. I'm very sorry. This is my... Uh, is it gonna focus on that? Eh, it kinda will. Oh. What is that doing? It's like drifting around. I'm sorry. That was probably more painful than it needed to be. Alright, so... There's the laser. Why is it, like, drifting? Anyway, so there's the laser. And this is, uh, I don't know, maybe... 20 feet, I would say? From where it's sitting? Now, nothing's bolted down, but... Okay, there's no backlash. So, if I go... Oops, I'm in the way. <laughs> up, you see it move up? Down down so for this distance and no load it doesn't seem to have much if any backlash we'll go up one down down up so that's pretty amazing to me I don't know if we could do a longer. I mean, this is still running as a linear axis, so um, let's do five thousandths. So, oops, wrong. But it, you see how it it comes back to the same spot both ways. And, you know, you see this, you can see the spacing is just slightly off. I think that's the micro-stepping. Let's do a little bit bigger, um, step. Uh, so. See how it goes back into the same point? From both directions. I mean, as far as, I mean, it, it might be just a little off, it's just hard for me to see. So, I don't know, I think that's pretty amazing. Um, I guess we'll see how, uh, the biggest thing would be like how much torque can you actually apply to this. And, and like I say, um, it is what it is. I mean, it's got plastic gears in it, but I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, we could go even further up and down, I guess. Let's see what happens here. How far is this? I think that's pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> so.
So, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see how that works. Can you see what see it when it goes down? I guess I. Well, that's up. Can you see that? Oh shoot! Ouch! Sorry. So yeah, you can see that, but you probably can't see when it goes down. I can move this. I can maybe zoom out just a little bit. Oh, did I hit the? I might have hit the. No, oh, no, that's still pretty close to where it was. So, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I'm sorry, this video kind of sucks, but there you go. I guess we'll kind of. I'll keep playing around with it and see. Um, but. But, yeah, I'll show you what this looks like from this angle, moving that far. And when I was doing it, the small amount, it was, I think this. Oh, I moved it. Yeah. So can you see that moving? I barely can <laughs> so so yeah uh, with half stepping because that's usually about what you can figure for absolute resolution on a stepper motor so half stepping it would be around 40,000 steps per revolution which is like 0 0.003 was it degrees Per half step so yeah I think it's kind of viable don't you think we'll see talk to you guys later bye